In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to create this animated hero section. Now you can see, whenever I hover over any one of these tiles, the color changes. You can see the hover image, and then the background image changes too. You see the uh, hover effect, which is uh, this color, and then the background image too changes. Let me move to the second slide. You see, you can now see this uh, Lamborghini Huracan. And then the third slide, you can see this Audi. And then the fourth slide, you can see this vintage car. If I come to this first slide, you can see this Hyundai. So we are going to be using Elementor Pro and some CSS effects for this. If you don't have Elementor Pro, I've shared the link in the description, which you can use to get a good discount. Now, the first thing we want to do is I'm going to come and you want to add a container. So add a container here. A flexbox container at this particular one, the first one. Now, this container should be full width, and then the length should be 100%, and then the height should be 100 VH. So, change this here from a PX to VH, and that's 100. Come to advanced, and the padding should be zero. Don't turn it off, just turn it to just make it zero. Then you want to come to CSS classes and give it a class of main container, that main dash container dash slide. The next thing you need to do is that you need to upload four images on your image dashboard, your media dashboard. I'll come to the back end of my website. I'll come to media, come to add new media file. And then I want to select and upload four files. So I have these pictures here of these Rolls Royces. Now, it's very important that all your pictures be the same size. And I'm going to show you why. If I come to pages here, I come to all pages. And let me view this. What I did, you discover this. When I move from slide one to slide two, you see like there's some sort of a compression. That's because these two images are not the same size. So. It's scaling down to the size of this image. So this image, this Lamborghini Huracan is a smaller, it's a flatter image. So, but you see these ones, they are the same, but this one is kind of compressing. So uh, this picture is the biggest, the picture of the Hyundai. So it's best if all your pictures are the same size. Now I've uploaded all my pictures. If I come to, let me come back to my dashboard. I hope I did not interrupt the upload. Okay, so I have three Rolls Royce pictures here. One is missing. Let me search which of them. I want to come back. And I think this is the one that is missing. So now I have all the pictures of my Rolls, Rolls Royces. The next thing you need to do is that we are going to make use of a CSS code. Now this is the code. I'm going to link it in the description. I'm going to add this code to the description. When you look at this code, when where you see uh, HTTPS your site slash image JPEG one dot com, uh, you know dot JPEG dot JPG, all of these we are going to replace them with these photos. So the first thing you want to do is that click on this particular picture, and here you are going to see this link copy url to clipboard i'll do that copy having copied that i'll bring it here and i'm going to put it here because that's going to be my first image i'm going to paste that there never mind that it looks a little bit funny now the important thing is that you have the, the right url i'll copy this other one i'll copy the url and then i'll replace this And then I'm going to do the same thing for this third one. I'll copy the URL. I'm going to come here. I'll paste it here. This, I will do this. I'll copy this URL and also paste it here. Now, what this CSS code is going to do is that it's going to change the background to this here. This is this, this color. 
You can change this background to be this color to be whatever you want. You can change the hex quickly. Now, remember we give that container uh, a class of main con dash container dot slide. Make sure it is the same, or at least they should correspond. Because if they are different, you are not going to get the same effect. I will now copy this code. I will copy all of this. This code. Copy everything. Make sure you don't leave anything out. Copy everything, and then. Come back to this container and come to the custom CSS tab. If you don't have Elementor Pro, you will not be able to make use of this. You can't add custom CSS without Elementor Pro, unless you have some other plugin which can do it. But I advise using Elementor Pro since that is what we are doing here. So I'm going to Control V. I'm going to paste that there. Never mind all of this. Just leave it the way it is. Now we need to come to the Style tab, and we want to make some changes here. For the background, leave it as it is normal. Come to background type, classic, click on classic, and make the background to be transparent. Just drag this uh, slider, make it to be transparent. And then we want to choose the first image. The first image, uh, and th I think the first image we had is this. Choose that, select it there. So, now that we have done that, we want to make it full size. So how do we do that? First of all, we have to make the image size to be full. So it is here, position should be center, center. And then repeat should be no repeat. And of course, display size should be cover. The next thing we need to do is to add a container inside here. <clears throat> So we need to add a container inside here. Now, it is up to you. You can add a background overlay here. If you like, you can add a background overlay here. Um, something like this. That is all up to you. If you like, if you feel like you want a background overlay, maybe the image is too bright, you can do that. Now, what we are going to do now is that we are going to add a container inside here. So I'm going to select a container. I'm going to drag it and put it here. Now, the container should be full width and it should be, the width should be 25 in percentage. Now, come to the advanced tab and give it a CSS class, which is slide one. Now, let's come to the code. You can see here, this is slide one. Make sure you write it exactly as it is, unless you come here and change it to, to whatever you want to put there. But I advise that you make it exactly. Now look at this, <clears throat> the color, if I hover over this, I'm already seeing the effect. Now, what I want to do is that I want to add some content here. The first thing I want to do is, I want to add the heading. So I've added this heading here and if I hover, you see it already changes. For some reason, it's showing me the picture of uh, this um, key on the, let me check that. But before then, let me just add the heading here. I will see 0 .0 0.01. Uh, and then I'm going to duplicate this. First of all, I'll give this inner container an all around padding of 32. Of 32, then I'm going to make this 01. I'm going to change this to white. I'm going to make it to be poppins. And then I'm going to make it to be 50. Or you could make it 60 if you like. 60. Now, what you want to do is that you, I want to duplicate this. I will duplicate this. And then you can give it whatever, let's say slide one. You can make this slide one, and then you can add some text under. I will drag this text and put it under. I can make this text to be white. And I can also make it to be poppins. 
So that is that. So it's white and it's popping. And you can even add a button here underneath. And you can see learn more. And we come to style tab. We can see poppins. And then let's come to the background color. We can make it transparent. And then the border type should be solid. And the border width should be two. So that is that. We can now center this. Now what we want to do is that I want to align, I want to align all of these, um, this entire container. I want to make it a vertical align. So I'll click here and then I'm going to come to layout and I'm going to make it horizontal align rather. So you see it flushes, it causes this section to flush. And then I can add a spacing on top of here. I can add a spacer on top of here. And then I drag it. I will drag this to be 175. Okay, so you see this is in the middle now. Now what I'm going to do, if you like, you can reduce the size of this text. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to duplicate this section. I will duplicate again. And then I'll still duplicate the third time. And I need to come to this first, second one. And I want to come to advanced. And I want to change this to be slide two. I'll come to this. I'll come to advanced. I'll make it to be slide three. I'll come to this, come to advanced, and I'll make it to be slide four. Now, if I change, if I um, save this, you see, we have this in effect. When I slide over any of them, you see the picture, it changes. Let me preview this on the front end. So this was the first one we did. Uh, somehow, uh, this one is inheriting the style of this one. Anyway, let's just preview it. You see, when I slide over it, the image changes. So you can use this to grab attention to your website, whatever it is you want. You can add, uh, you know, a hover effect, a background overlay over the picture. So this is what we get. So if you got any video uh, value out of this video, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notification bell. Come like this video, post your comment. And when I put out next videos, you'll be the first to be notified. God bless you. Peace.